What's going on today, partner? Man, I tell you, we got us one of these 1983 F-150s with a straight six, 4.9. It's a good running truck. We somebody already put a different aftermarket carburetor, but it's one of them factory replacements. It's got old smog pump on it. Really don't know what them things are all about, but I don't like it. I don't know why I don't like it, but I just don't like it. And I'm just curious, how's it gonna run any different if I take this belt off that smog pump? See what it runs like right now. It's already warmed up some. My mixture screw, idle mixture screw, fuel air mixture screws currently only like a half a turn out. For some reason, I think it should be like a turn and a half, but I must have a vacuum leak. But we're just going to see what happens when you take that belt off. How does it run different? So I loosened up the pump thing there. I think it's called a smog pump. And took the belt off. Let's see what changes. I mean, if you don't need it. They might crank about the same. You know, what are we missing? Here? Seems like it runs better. I did cut this bag in there, you know. So out of curiosity, Slap the hose, the belt back on real quick. Uh, disconnected the hose. I just want to know if this thing's sucking or pulling. I don't, want, I don't see any point in the thing. Maybe it's a Yankee thing where up there where it snows or something. Maybe. This thing's blowing. So what if it's blowing? Is it like a little turbo charger? I mean, I don't. Also, where it just was, it just take unfiltered air in right there and blow it into you. Why ain't this just weird? I wonder why they do that. I don't know. So I took it for the drive without that pump running and it seemed like it had a little bit more power. I do think I can smell a little bit of the difference. So what I think, not sure, but what I think that thing does is it blows air into the exhaust 
when the temperature ain't or, or in some Yahoo, Wahoo, this, that, and another to help with the catalytic converter. Which I'm not too concerned about that. This is one of them import trucks. Hopefully we don't have no laws around here to tell you what to do about what you drive. But I'm sure we do. So I couldn't tell any difference as far as trouble. It seemed like it had a little bit more power, but you know how that is in your mind. It's on there. I'm going to leave it on there for right this minute, but I'm going to leave the belt off. I'm going to throw the belt behind the seat and test it out, see if it burns any less gas or what. But it doesn't seem like it did anything wrong by taking that belt off. I can smell a little bit more exhaust smell. And that's what I think that thing does. It just blows fresh air into the exhaust to help burn up whatever's left over in the exhaust if you're running rich or something. I'm going to check it at the gas station and see what happens. I've drove the truck about 200 miles with this belt off this pump and the truck seems to have a lot more power. I pulled the trailer with a couple of bins of watermelons and stuff and I mean the truck just drives much more strong. So I like not having this pump thing operate. Uh, the It doesn't really smell any more than it has before. Also, I'm trying to find the any vacuum leaks or whatnot. I replace that in the grommet, the brake booster, check valve. And also, I replaced that because my old one, the Dear Spark ignition module, had melted, but it didn't give up. It didn't quit on me. I put it behind the seat. That one's a made in China one. And both of these parts came from off the parts store shelf.